So, got the wishbone off, clearly. Two new bolts in there now as well, because uh, they've had this wishbone off. So, uh, the old ones were cross-threaded, which was fun. Should have taken me about 45 minutes to an hour. It's now taken me nearly two. <coughs> I've also dropped the subframe a little bit. I don't want to drop it off of the, the studs completely. I don't know how much of that you can see. But there's quite a significant gap here now. I don't want to drop it off completely because my jack stand is being used for the other side. Oh, I can't get this back up, stop it from dropping control the drop whatever I would like to have a piece of wood just on this cross member here with the jack underneath so I can control the drop on the uh, uh, subframe an engine Ooh, that looks a bit oily under there I might have to it's quite fresh looking oil as well Well, put it this way, what I didn't want to do was be taking the engine out. Uh, now it's looking like I'm taking the engine out because it's not giving me a lot of room still, even though I've dropped the subframe quite a bit to get at any of the studs and the exhaust pieces back here. I mean, I could probably do it, but it's just a pain in the arse. Uh, I can always strip the plenum off this, this thing here to give me some more access. Strip off the turbo. <sighs> can you tell I don't really want to do this job? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll strip the plenum off and we'll go from there.